So I've been exploring various AI assistants and today I'm going to focus on my top three. ChatGPT, Perplexity and Claude AI. Today I'm taking you on a journey with me so that you can understand which tool is best for you or tools, you know, depending on your learning needs and preferences. You know, whether you're a fan of quick responses or long depth explanations or interactive conversations, by the end of this video, I'm sure you have more clarity about what to use next. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Charlotte. If you love the idea of hearing more about AI, e-learning and tech trends, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be updated with my weekly content. Okay, now for that, let's go. So have you ever kind of wondered which tool is the best tool for research, answering questions, even helping with language learning, you know, narrowing down lots of information into minimal information? And yes, you know, ChatGPT is discussed a lot, but I feel like we're missing the other ones and I've explored them a lot and they all have such great benefits that we really need to explore. So if you've seen my guide already, you would have seen already, I did a small area on research. This is gonna be more in depth. On my guide, I cover 13 different areas where you can see the top five AI tools for each of the areas just to minimize the overwhelm, you know, from text to audio to speech, to video creation, to SEO, you know, to chat boxes, you name it, it's all covered in that guide. But today I'm gonna to be focusing on the research area, but in more detail. Detail. First of all, let's see how AI handles a simple language task, such as ordering a coffee in French. How they do it can tell us a lot about their style. Let's have a look. How do I order coffee in French? Let's see what ChatGPT responds with. Okay, great. Here's how you can order a coffee in French. Start with these ordering a coffee, asking, you know, additional information. So yeah, with ChatGPT, it's pretty good. You know, you've got a great layout there. So it's, it's kind of long, you know, it's offered polite greetings, ordering a coffee, different ways to say it, English translations, asking for sugar, extra information that you didn't ask for and it's broken it down into four elements. So that's, you know, pretty simple to use, quite long. I would have preferred a shorter answer if it was me, but I am kind of just more like to the point. Definitely, that's good. So let's have a look at the next one, perplexity. So let's try again, paste it in perplexity, see what perplexity comes up with. Basic vocabulary, so it's done it differently. It's listed just singular basic vocabulary word you would use, such as coffee. Then it's led on to phrases to use, and then additional requests, such as sugar. When you compare it to GPT, GPT gives you full phrases, whereas with perplexity, they break it down. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually prefer this. And then let's quickly have a look at Claude AI. So I entered the prompt again, and this is what's come up. So it's short. Obviously what you can see from the others, they've translated it, giving you more options. Especially if someone's just obviously starting to learn, they wouldn't know necessarily what those phrases are. So I would definitely favor more GPT and perplexity for this scenario. So first of all, let's quickly compare signing up to all of them. So ChatGPT is free to use, sign up to an account, same with perplexity. Um, the only thing with Claude, I'm um, AI, you do need to like give your mobile number. And generally they all have free tools. There are limitations which I will go into later. So now I want to upload a document. So for the document that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go to Consensus. I've used it before and discussed it before, but it's really good for research and it even like provides you references really, really quick. So see here, I'm gonna type in importance of language learning, random topic, you can do whatever you want. So you'll see here, this is again free to use, importance, it gives you like a short analysis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this, export the results into a CSV file. So let's download that. So I'm gonna say, can you please read this document and write four main bullet points of what it covers, yeah? Just so we can see how it works with long documents. Gonna do the same with Claude AI as well and see what happens. With perplexity, it gives you four bullet points as requested and breaks it down and also gives you a document you can access. So pretty good. Bit longer than I was anticipating, I wanted like one to two lines. And then let's have a look at Claude AI. Okay, so Claude AI is actually giving me two sentences as I want it. So, you know, after reviewing this, here is the four main bullet points. One, importance of identity orientated language. Okay, this is perfect. This is what I wanted. So Claude AI has lots of strengths when it comes to long documents. 
So if you really have a lot of documents in your job and you need it to be broken down, use Claude AI, it's worth it. So thumbs up Claude AI for long documents, uploading them and then breaking it down into short pieces of information without overwhelming. So with ChatGPT, you'll see that it doesn't give you an actual breakdown of what's inside. It's kind of analyzing what the document is rather than what's inside. So for documents, I wouldn't suggest using ChatGPT. So the next example I want to show you is using a phrase in a language and seeing how they respond. So we're going to use feeling under the weather in Spanish. So as you know, in England, feeling under the weather is when you feel not great, feeling a bit down, maybe you're feeling a bit ill or just not feeling great in general. So let's see and compare the answers they give. Translate, I'm feeling under the weather in Spanish. Let's see what happens. Giving you a couple of lines. Me siento mal, no me siento bien. So here it's giving you like expressions used, um, having mild symptoms. And now let's try perplexity. So they've not given you any more details. So if you want something to the point, perplexity is good for that. And then with Claude AI, it literally just gives you one short sentence. So fair enough, if you also want quick to the point, then Claude AI is good for that as well. Let's try news. So whatever it may be, maybe you want to follow or get the latest news. So I'm asking for today's news and they keep saying it doesn't appear to be any recent news articles. All of them give me the same reply. She doesn't appear to any recent news specifically on today's events. So they're not up to date. So what I would suggest if you're very news focused, you can use Bing AI. Okay. If you go to Bing chat, sign in, put your name in, Today's news gives you the today's news. So if you specifically want news, I would suggest going to Bing. Really good for current news and data where ChatGPT is not up to date. It's more for research questions, etc. Um, so I hope that helps that extra tool. If you're really like, you, you really need to understand more about news, current trends or topics, whatever it may be. Of course, you can just go to the top news, but you can ask specifically tailored questions about the news. If your job, you know, you're a journalist, of course you need to know about all the news. So that's just to give you the general idea of the three different tools. So ChatGPT, Perplexity and Claude AI comparison, they all bring something different to the table and they all have strengths and weaknesses, I would say. I think ChatGPT is great for general inquiries, as I've said before. You know, if you're wanting deeper explanations on your research, it breaks it down, but it's a bit more extensive than Perplexity. I think Perplexity is great for to the point answers, which is great. And also what I really like about Perplexity is the structure as well. For me personally, I think it's more user friendly. I think, you know, it's the design, the way it's structured. It breaks it down in a more, you know, structured way that personally helps me learn more. So that for me is, you know, a really good benefit from perplexity. So, and with Claude AI, I would say main benefit is the fact that it allows you to upload large documents and it will break it down in a very clear structured way. Also good for creativity. So you'll see that it really responds in like a structured creative way. So obviously you'll know what your goal is now, but whatever your job is, what you're trying to get out of these tools. Limitations on Claude AI, only certain amount of prompts per day. ChatGPT, not great for long documents unless you want to purchase the advanced mode. So give them a try, see what works best for you. For me personally, this is, after doing this research, it's kind of opened my doors to more options. I really also love the fact that Perplexity has that image feature as well. So which AI tool are you going to try first? Or which AI tool have you decided? Let me know in the comments, because I'd love to hear which one you know suits you. So today we've not only discussed GPT, Claude AI, Perplexity, we've also discussed Consensus, really good for research, and Bing Chat as well which is great for news updates and trends. If you guys did like this video, do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly content. Don't forget to check out my other videos. If you do love the voice feature, ChatGPT is great for that and the advanced feature as well. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good one.